Fatiha that says, I'm going to marry a guy who believes in reading Fatiha on food, praising Abdul Qadir al-Jilani uh, extravagantly, visiting righteous people's graves, etc. Alhamdulillah, I do not believe in such innovations, but I really don't want to take a step back from marrying him. Please advise me. Well, this is up to you, uh, Sayyida. If you are okay with compromising your deen and giving priority to worldly matters, this is your call. Someone who goes to graveyards and worships the graves and uh, 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 praises Al-Jilani, which means that he is a super Sufi, and goes to Dargahs, etc., and is filled with innovation, and you're still refusing to take a step back, this means that your religion is as worse or even worse than his. A real Muslim does not compromise his deen. The Prophet said والسلام, clearly in a hadith, whenever someone with accepted moral conduct and ethics and is trustworthy approaches you for marriage, give him in marriage. Otherwise, there will be chaos and corruption in the world. This man does not fit that criteria. He doesn't have a proper aqidah. He's filled with innovation. And you still think about it? This is up to you. And may Allah make things easy for all of us. So